Andy, Rovers, sorry, Rochdale 38, Rovers 34, your thoughts on the match first of all? Yeah, you uh, shouldn't be losing games, should you, with that sort of line? And I'm uh, no, pretty disappointed with our def defensive display. And, you know, we addressed it during the week from, from our last few games and we thought we'd fix, start fixing some problems up. But obviously not today. Um, to let 38 points in is, is pretty poor from us. Uh, difficult start for Rovers in both halves, going 18 0 down in first half and then a 10 point deficit in the second. Did well to pull it back in the first half. You must have been pleased to pull it back at half time. Yeah, we, uh, you know, giving a, a big start up like that, and, and when you go 18 points down, it makes things very difficult. But we, we had one attacking set within that, and we could have broke them down twice and scored two tries. And um, it, there was hope there, and I think the players knew that. And, and once we got the ball in our hands, and, and we played pretty quickly through the field and, and scored some nice tries, but again, we didn't look uh, too sure in defence, and, and that's what's caused us the problems today. Interesting choice selection with the wingers. Will Harps, Will Sharp, sorry, starting on the bench, and Blackmore and Crooks starting. What are your reasoning behind that? Well, we've got three three good wingers and uh, two two wing spots. So we uh, have give James Mendeke his, his shot in the centre again, which puts Blackmore on one wing. And I thought it was only fair. And we spoke to Sharpie and Crooksy last week that one of them had a go last week, one had a go this week, and we try and cement some places down there between the three of them. So um, going into the game. Uh, Sharpie got the bench spot because we left Crooksy out last week and he was going to rotate with um, Mendika and go to full-back and Hardman go into the middle because we were very light on front rows and, and middle players. It must be disappointing. Your stress must have been limited today with the players going back up from Jill Regin on loan. How difficult did it make that choice team selection for you? Yeah, it's made it you know it's made it probably easier because there's not many players to pick from but it's made it more difficult because um, we just we just needed to get the players in the right positions it's forwards where we've been struggling really our back line was good you know we missed Greg today and Etu came in but our, uh, our forwards we had we had one recognised front rower on the bench which is difficult to do and, and then we, we had obviously George Hooker and, and Sean Pick the young kid and, and then um, Sharpie on the bench, so we had, and, and obviously Jack Bussey starting in the middle as well. So we had, we had difficulty picking our forwards really, and our, our proper rotation, how that was going to work, and, and with our injury situation, that didn't help us either. How pleased with the performance of Sean Pick off the bench his first game in a few weeks, his first chance for you to have a look at him? Yeah, I thought he was good. Um, he, he, you know, he's, he's played three minutes of rugby this year, I think, for the first team, and he uh, he trained with us since he's come back from his injury uh, the last three or four weeks and he's been going really well so give him the opportunity to play out there in the back row and I don't think he did anything wrong and uh, you know he dropped a ball near the end but I think that was probably a, a little bit of a poor play really to uh, to put him under that much pressure at the line and I thought he defended quite well out there so I was pretty pleased with Sean and uh, you know we'll have a look at his game analyse it a little bit more closely but I think he's uh, he's got something hasn't he? It certainly has. Just a news touch on the injuries now. Ben Blotmore came off in the second half, was on crutches at the end of the match. Can you give us any news on that, on any more injuries we've repeated up? I can't really give you much news on, on Ben. He's He's got some sort of problem with his leg, foot or ankle or something. I'm not sure. I haven't spoke to the physios. I just asked him. Um, but it, it's obviously going to be serious if he came off and uh, and you know he was struggling. Although he did say he could come back on at one point during the second half if we needed him. So I'm not sure really. But... Uh, yeah, we lost Kyle Trout as well after the first half. He was he was concussed in the first half, which uh, we didn't sort of know about until half time, and he uh, he couldn't take any further part in the game, so that did really uh, affect our bench. Victory for the Lee Centurions today uh, obviously stretches that lead out for them to 13 points. Do you think top spot's gone now? Any fights in a battle for second spot? Yeah, I think you know the the ten points they had already. Top spot was going to be pretty hard to reach for us. Um, you know, we never stopped having a crack at it, but we're uh, we're not looking at the table too much. I think we're looking at performance really, and and at the minute our performances are not there. Um, and you know, we can't come to teams like Rochdale and drop points, and we can't go to Workington and drop points if we've got any ideas of uh, being the team we want to be. We've got to improve massively, uh, and it's not just looking at Leeds, looking at our own performance and improving on that. Next week is another tough away trip to Swinton. Uh, obviously another team that's fighting fighting down in the bottom of the table. Have you got any thoughts ahead of that match? Not yet. We need to uh, we need to have a look, see what we've got to pick from, see what the injury situation is and, and we'll have a good look at our boys on Tuesday. So it's going to be 
It's going to be a lot of a long, lengthy review process after this game because uh, you know things have been slipping the last few weeks. We've picked up on some stuff, and uh, maybe there's been some excuses crept in with the situation going on at the club, and it's not uh, acceptable really. Uh, the performance on the field today uh, in the last few weeks really hasn't been acceptable from a few players, so we need to fix that up. Andy, thanks for your time. No worries, thank you.